Are you scratching your head a little bit on John Roberts? I mean, I'm not, we're not going to call him David Souter at this point, but conservatives have, have had a track record of having some problems with Supreme Court justices that you thought were going to be a reliable vote. Or at least when I say a reliable vote, I'm just talking about, you know, to, to adhere to conservative principles. Look, we, we have great respect for the institution of the Supreme Court of the United States. Um, but Chief Justice John Roberts has been a disappointment to conservatives, whether it be the Obamacare decision or whether it be a spate of recent decisions all the way through uh, Calvary Chapel. It, it's just, it's a reminder. And uh, I think several cases out of the Supreme Court are a reminder of just how important this election is for the future of the Supreme Court. We, we remember the issue back in 2016, uh, which I believe loomed large in voters' decisions between Hillary Clinton uh, and the man who would become president of the United States. And some people thought that it wouldn't be as big an issue these days, but I think that's all changed. The recent decision, and again, a narrow Supreme Court decision, striking down a Louisiana pro-life law that only said that doctors working in abortion clinics would have to have admitting privileges at local hospitals. That's a very modest restriction on abortion providers, but a narrow majority in the Supreme Court still said it was unacceptable. And I think it, it's been, I think it's been a wake-up call for pro-life voters around the country who understand in a very real sense, the destiny of the Supreme Court is on the ballot in 2020. Mm -hmm. and, in, and that's why President Trump announced that he's going to publish another list of men and women from which he will draw any future appointments mm -hmm. to the Supreme Court of the United States. He did that in 2016. He kept his word. He's going to do that in the fall of 2020. And in the next four years, he'll keep his word and appoint more principled conservatives to our court.